In this video, I will show you how to extend your Wi-Fi signal range by adding multiple wireless routers using a LAN cable. To do this, we will connect the newly added second Wi-Fi router to the main internet router or switch using a LAN cable. Then, we will connect a third Wi-Fi router to the same main internet router or switch using another LAN cable. But before proceeding, we need to reset both newly added Wi-Fi routers to erase any previous configurations. So, let's get started. First, I will power on both of my new Wi-Fi routers. You can use any Wi-Fi router, but in this setup, I'm using a Mobily 5G Wi-Fi router and a Linksys Wi-Fi router to extend my home's Wi-Fi coverage. Both devices are powered on now. First, we need to reset these Wi-Fi routers. To do this, locate the reset button on each Wi-Fi device. It's usually found underneath or on the back of the Wi-Fi router. To reset the Wi-Fi router, I'm using a small pin to press and hold the reset button for 10 seconds. As you can see, the lights on the Mobily router have turned off, which means it is restoring to its default settings. This process will take about 2 to 3 minutes. Next, I will reset the Linksys Wi-Fi router. Unlike the Mobily router, this one has a built-in reset button so no pin is needed. I simply press and hold the button for a few seconds, and the light changes from red to blue. This indicates that the Linksys router has also been restored to its default settings. Now let's connect to the main internet router or switch. For that, I take a network cable and connect one end to my internet switch. In your case, this can be an internet router at your home. I am using port number one here, and the other end goes into the WAN port of my Mobily Wi-Fi router. Remember, you must connect to the WAN port if you want to use the Wi-Fi router as a Wi-Fi extender without any configuration. If your Wi-Fi router doesn't have a WAN port, this method won't work. Now let's repeat the process. I'll take another network cable, connect one end to my internet switch, this time using port number two, and plug the other end into my Linksys Wi-Fi router. You can see that the port is labeled Internet. The WAN or internet port are the same but do not connect to the LAN ports. Now our connectivity is done. To check if it's working, connect your computer to the second router's Wi-Fi. I'll go to my laptop's Wi-Fi network settings, where I can see several Wi-Fi SSIDs. To identify which one belongs to my second Wi-Fi router, I'll look under the router. Here you can see the Wi-Fi name is Dlink-3000M along with the Wi-Fi password. On my laptop, I click on Dlink 3000 m and enter the same password found under the router. And as you can see, we are now connected. Next, let's open the browser and check if the internet is working. And here you can see, the internet is up and running. Now let's do the same with our third Wi-Fi router. First, I'll locate the Wi-Fi name and password under the router. Here you can see the Wi-Fi name is Velop Setup AB9, along with the Wi-Fi password. Now I'll go back to my laptop's Wi-Fi settings, click on Velop Setup AB9, and enter the same password we found under the router. And as you can see, we are connected. Let's open the browser again to check the internet service. And here you can see, the internet is also working on this third Wi-Fi router. Now you can install these Wi-Fi routers anywhere in your home or office to extend your Wi-Fi signal and improve Wi-Fi coverage. Thank you for watching. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.